Hello everybody troop, welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beret Hills and welcome to another piece of tea of the day. It is Friday. The weekend is finally here. And we are ready to have fun, to enjoy, to celebrate. I mean, how many parties you already have lined up? I need to know, you know, because I, I cannot be the only one who enjoys Halloween to the extreme, okay? So let me know what are you guys doing this weekend, pre-Halloween, on Halloween, and post-Halloween, okay? Because I already have plans for all of them, okay? Girl, um, if you are new here, you know what to do, guys, okay? Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. We are on our way to 40K. So if you want to get all the tea related to the Bravo universe, everything that is going on with every single show, this is where you want to be, okay? So make sure to subscribe. There is for free, okay? You can subscribe here and subscribe to other channels. All of them are for free. Don't worry, you know? Girl, it is time to talk about uh, the Real Housewife of New Jersey, okay? So this came so out of nowhere, okay? I was like, what is going on, you know? Uh, especially because right now everyone is talking about the show potentially being canceled or, you know, the, the, after the, the trip was canceled and now they're not going to the Berkshire, which I don't understand at all. I mean, at all. Girl, Andy Cohen said in an interview that the reason why the girls that they decided to cancel the trip instead of make the girls stay at dorinda's place was because dorinda was from another show that and like that's another show that's another thing it's like bitch hasn't he learned anything from real house with ultimate girls trip or even winter house we love crossovers okay we want them we crave them okay who like come on this i mean imagine the cast of new jersey is staying at the berkshire in bluestone manor with dorinda who is not even on bravo anymore because she's not on, on roni that shed would have been pff, insane insane now what i heard was that some of the ladies actually went to Bluestone Manor to have some lunch, but I don't know exactly who, you know? So I'm thinking because um, Dorinda and Teresa have a very good friendship, probably Teresa and, and uh, Jennifer Aiding, maybe Jennifer Fessler and Jackie Goldschneider, maybe. But I, it doesn't register on my mind why they're being so dumb because that will have been perfection. That will have been reality TV history, okay? Have them stay at Bluestone Manor. I can't. Sometimes, I mean, it's like Andy, when, when is he going to learn? He already said that he made a mistake by because he didn't want to create Real House of Beverly Hills when they already have Real House of Orange County. He also said that they, he made a mistake by letting Tamara Judge go. He also said that he made a mistake because he thought that the moment that 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 we start like crossing, you know, housewives, it was going to be the end. He has been wrong so many times. Like, when are you gonna learn, man? I love you. I, you know that I, I I give my life for Andy Cohen. But like, girl, dump, dump, dump. So I don't know. But anyways, so yeah, the trip was canceled, and people were saying that the show was canceled. But anyways, so this rumor right here just really came out of nowhere. And it's all about Danielle Staub. Girl, we haven't talked about her in such a long time. And she's coming back saying that she has all kind of proof to expose Melissa Gorga. And that she was ready to expose Melissa Gorga back when they, she, when they brought her back. But production silenced her that they didn't allow her to put all the truth about the Gorgas, about Melissa out there, that they didn't, that she asked and asked and asked 
and production say, no, do not mess with Melissa. <laughs> and now we said it. And now we're here. So listen to this. An account says TV Secrets Reveal said Danielle stop after you left during season three to seven. You repeatedly discuss the lengthy emails plus the record calls you have on Melissa. So why, when you came back, did you befriend her and even briefly work with her fraud PR robbing illumination PR? Why? Why didn't you expose her to what Danielle responds? Girl, listen to this. Because they brought me back in a limit role they cut off testimonials, making unrealistic demands, so I had to play nice in order to collect my dues. They tie my hands by bringing me back in a limited role, offering no testimonials, dictating I help MJ her first and wait, what? And Dictating, I help MJ her first, and then after JA, which I meant is Jennifer Aiden, in her first season. I was told no when I asked to reveal. And in this role, it restricts my ability to be my truest self. If I wanted to collect my dues, I had to play nice. I hope this helps. Because all of you deserve the truth. That's mine. Girl. The only thing that I'm going to say is, Danielle, you're no longer on the show. Just put, put the tapes out there. Put the emails out there. Expose Melissa. Believe me, we will not say no to receipts. You know? So... Is she still waiting to see if they bring her back at some point? Or like what is really going on through her mind? Because if Melissa really did her that dirty, like why are you still holding on to this stuff? When was the last time that she was on the show? Like like five years ago? Probably, I don't know. So imagine like, I don't know. This is the thing. I mean, you know that I am not a Melissa fan at all. But it's like, if you have receipts, just put them out there. Give me a call, girl. I will interview you, you know? <laughs> so anyways, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you believe about all of this uh, alleged dirt that uh, Danielle has on Melissa? Let me know. And if you want to get all the tea related to the Real House of New Jersey or any of the other Bravo shows, be sure to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and... I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.